So we have our uh, Playloaded Leg extension and this is a new version of it. The reason why is that like almost all manufacturer, the loading pin is connected to, directly connected to the moving arm. And that means that you are already determined the resistance profile. If you have the loading arm uh, right here, the, the pin load, what happens is at the beginning of the movement, you will have a very light resistance, right? Right here. And then as you extend up, what happens is this will go into that position which is perpendicular to the rotation of axis. This is the, let's say, the hardest part, the peak contraction. And then as you full extend, it gets easier again. So this is a U-shaped type of resistance profile. However, our strength profile is, is start, you start with the strongest position when your legs are extended and then it decreases progressively as you extend your knees and your muscle get fully shortened. But you cannot achieve that if you use a loading pin connected directly to the moving arm. That's one point. The second point is inertia effect. So when you have the loading pin connected to the moving arm, as you extend fast, the whole thing will go up with momentum and you have no resistance whatsoever at the top position. So what we did is, this is a double link cage mechanism. Uh, actually you see three different pieces. So this is the moving arm and then we have a connection arm with the load arm. So this is three pieces connected all together. That on the one hand, allow us to have a more range of motion so we can go really deep. It means you will have uh, the starting position, you will, have, you will get a more stretched uh, um, position. Of course, you can adjust as well the uh, roller pad, which is something that also several manufacturers get rid of. And then here is the most interesting thing. This is a double link cage mechanism to connect the three arms. And the starting position, which is right here, <clears throat> we have the rotation of axis and then we have the pin load. This is the longest distance. It means you will start with the heaviest load. And as you extend the knee, this go higher on top of the rotation of axis and actually closer to the, the rotation of axis. It means get lighter. So we match the resistance profile with our strength profile in a play loading machine, which is quite difficult. And then another benefit of this double linkage mechanism is that decrease the inertia effect. So you need to look at how much distance the load travel up and down and how much range of motion my, 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 the pad travels. So you will see there is way more range of motion coming from the pad and the load just move a little bit. That means we are decreasing the inertia effect, uh, which is really important. And another cool feature is that, of course, I can adjust the seat, the back seat from a seated position because we use uh, gas assisted. Uh, you can see over here but that we use laser cut numbering, so we don't use a sticker. Everything is, is a laser cut numberings over here, laser cut numberings over here, so no stickers. And then if someone wants to actually perform like explosive motion, like really fast, or you, or you want to overload the, the uh, short term position, you just need to add resistance bands. So we have two band packs and then so this is like a 90 degrees, which is what most manufacturers will have. I can really get a more stretch position. Can adjust the, the roller pad, can grip myself, and then as you see the band get stretched, I will have a more, more lock at the top. So the cool thing is that the whole range of motion is optimally um, loaded. So the pump that you will get is it's just insane. And then, there you go.